Hello and welcome to this week's art lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to use a blind stylus in your artwork. So, what is a blind stylus, I hear you saying? Well, it's this. It's this. 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 Or even this. Basically, it's something that will indent a mark on a piece of paper. In drawing, it'll create a line that you can shade across, making a light line. In watercolour, it'll make a dent that the paint will run into and make a dark line. Let me show you what I mean. Let's start off with this one. An opener. Ruling pen. Burnishing tool. And this dead pen basically it's an old pen that's run out of ink what we do we take a fairly soft pencil this is a 4b and we can just scribble across the top and can you see it gives you that lovely fine white line that you can use in your drawing for fine detail. Normally to get, or often, to get a, a line this fine, you'd have to do negative drawing, which means you'd have to shade up to this line and then shade underneath it like this. But with this process, you can literally scribble across the top. And really anything that you can find around the house that can make a mark you can use as a blind stylus. Now how would you apply this? Um, here I've got a little ivy leaf and you can see on this that the veins of the ivy are light rather than dark. And normally, um, if you were wanting to draw them, if you wanted a really, really fine line, you'd have to go in from this side and then from this side like that, trying to achieve that very, very fine line of drawing negatively. With this process, it's a lot easier. Let me show you. other drawings um, if you imagine light trees against a dark background something more like this
this is also a really handy way of doing um, glazing bars on your architectural drawings. So if you imagine those very, very fine white lines that make up a window with all those little window panes. If you do it this way, it's much easier drawing. So, how do we apply the use of a blind stylus to your watercolours? Interestingly, the effect using the blind stylus with paint is the complete opposite. Instead of making light lines against dark, it makes dark lines on a lighter background. Let me show you how. If we start off with the, the dead pen. Then the ruling pen burnishing tool tin opener and then the knitting needle. And let's just try some fairly light colour, just a little bit of a sort of yellowy colour here and see how it works. You can see that if the effect here is a lot more subtle, but what we can do, uh, if we put a little bit more colour over the top, what we can do is push it into the paper. So. dark on there. Let's push that in a little bit more. Can you see? And the paint is falling in to those marks that we've made. needle.
So, what is this effect even for? Well, if you look at something like this, this lovely leaf, you can see that the veins are very, very fine and they're dark against a light background. So using one of these effects would be perfect to make those very, very fine, fine veins. Let me show you quickly. spatters on it for the marks on the leaf so um, instead of making too much of a mess if you just use a piece of paper make a little hole in the middle so you can spatter away to your heart's content without throwing paint all over the place so let's something like that maybe quite dark so fairly darkish blue brown and I think I'll use the little brush. <laughs> 